learn it, it's like, they're often not around. <laughs> and when I played this song in South Dakota, it's about Yankton, South Dakota, when I played it in there, they didn't seem to care. But then I thought about it. You know, if they came from Yankton, South Dakota to sing a song about New York for me, I probably wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I mean, I might have. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, would that be exciting? Yeah, but how many songs about Yankton, South Dakota are there? I know. <laughs> That's what I thought, but they didn't care. <laughs> but again, it's the bar band problem, right? Mm -hmm. You want a bar? Never mind. I got the money, got some time to use up. Call up all the people, put the time to shovel it. Look for a party, but there's nothing on Monday, Tuesday. But better gotta figure out something. South Dakota. Someone had a birthday, but I wasn't invited. Slipped it through the back, I got a little excited. When I saw Charlie King talking to ladies, singing about the law and the mistakes I made. South Dakota. Been to South Dakota, the ancient South Dakota where the paddlefish swim, swimming in the river where the river boats hurry, trying to beat the currents of the mighty Missouri. South Dakota. Hey, while hang around chewing a condom, think about a malted and a cookie and a pop. Use it up, put it on, find an excuse. You don't ever want to have to find out the truth. South Take a break right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're gonna maybe, you know, if you want to go over to the merch table for a little bit, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. First of all, there's no drugs being sold. There's no marijuana being sold. I'm sorry. There's laws against that in Pennsylvania for now. Eventually, maybe bands will sell their own brands of marijuana. That's true. Willie Nelson does it right, doesn't he? That's right. But for now, what I have is, you know, I have a few CDs there. I have the money's gone away. I have uh, everything I say is a lie. The interesting thing I always have to say is that is the name of the album, and it's true, Nora Jones sings a duet with me on that album. But it always sounds funny when I say, and Nora Jones is on this album. It's called Everything I Say is a Lie. <laughs> Didn't find that one too well. I swear. And the other one I got, what I got over there? I got Drinking Songs for Lovers. Oh, of course. And on that record is uh, Earl Poobal, Johnny Cash's piano player, playing on that. And, uh, and, um, and a little guy from the Love and Spoonfills playing on it. Yeah, and uh, what else? And then there's my stake out, my other band, which we have a song in this movie, Super Troopers. Which, uh, for a certain millennial crowd, they're very excited about that. And when I play that song, they tell me I do a really good cover version of the song from Super Troopers. <laughs> and, then, uh, and they say, no, 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 it's me. And I'm like, what now? <laughs> and then they go look at their phones and they're like, it really is him. <laughs> and they're excited for two minutes and then they forget about me. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> and then, what else do we got over there? We got some t-shirts, two different kinds, and then we got one pair of pants. <laughs> My girlfriend is, uh, she designs custom clothes, and so here's the story, she made these pants for me, and now she's doing the merch for Ani DeFranco, doing custom. Oh. Ani stole, stole my merch person. Oh. It's okay, it helps our business, That's it's good. Yeah. So there's one pair of pants, it's one of a kind, there's an only kind there. You know, I don't know. I have, she has, we have low hopes. It's silly. In fact, at this point, they're more of a conversation piece for the table. Would you like to buy the conversation piece? I don't care. I don't care. And in closing, I don't know, you know, it's just what is, what's happening now. It's like, what, you know, I have two new albums I'm going to put out this year, and I'm working on a third. And I'm going to ask you all, what do I do with them? Sell them. I know, but what do I print them on? Okay, let me put it this way. Who would buy a CD? There you go. See, a few. Okay. Who would buy vinyl? Now, if I printed it on a pizza... <laughs> would eat it? Anyway, this is the new problem. I, I hope that this problem eventually gets solved. That's a problem, but it's really weird to make a record now. You can't even figure out what to put it on. And we have our, you know, generally musicians, like, we like to be homebodies, especially writers. We like to stay home and write, so they don't even know what to put them on. That's not really the easiest way to put us in. So get them while they're, while they're cold. <laughs> There's some CDs over there. All right, and I talked about the merch thing. Money, got some time to use up coal up all the people put the tide of shuffling Looking for a party but there's nothing on Monday Tuesday much better gotta figure out something South Dakota